my name is Caitlin Berry, and uh, and I'm five years old, and and I'm in kindergarten at Maple Leaf. Well, hi, Caitlin. Do you like to read? I love to read. What is one of the favorite books that your mom or dad reads to you? Um, Frog and Toad are friends. Tell me a little bit about Frog and Toad and Friends. Well, one time, well, there's a lot of books in that, there's a lot of stories in that one tiny book. And in, in one, in one story that's in there, the t toad actually loses a button at the house and they don't even notice. What? They lost... Toad lost a button. Can you believe it? And, I can't believe it. And they don't even realize. And what happened at the end of the story? Well, at the end of the story, that they, they they went on. They they could. Toad realized he lost a button. They they got surprised. They looked for it all around the house, and then. And then they looked for it, and then and then they and then it wasn't there, so they panicked. And then they went, and then we went, and then they went on the second walk, and and they couldn't find it there. But then they went home, and they actually found it there on their front porch. Oh, that's awesome. Or back porch. Okay. <laughs> So, are you glad that your mom and dad read to you at home? Yeah. Yeah. My favorite book is The Gingerbread Man. My favorite book is Frozen. My favorite book is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. My favorite book is Clifford the Big Red Dog. My favorite book is Frog and Toad are Friends. My favorite book is Me and Abedelia. My favorite book is Penton. Hey everybody! Hi Jonathan! So what did you guys do yesterday on your day off? I read the diary of the Wimpy Kid Meltdown. What did you do, Mackenzie? Yesterday I played outside, I played with my brothers, and I also read, I read the Baby Stars Club. What did you do, Shu? Oh, I read the diary of Wimpy Kid Old School. What did you do, Joey? Um, I read some Paragon and played some Yu-Gi-Oh! What did you do, Sarah? Well, I read Goosebumps and I also cleaned. Casey, what did you do? I played outside for a little bit on my rib stick and I read a little bit of my Dwarf Diaries book. Maya, what did you do? I have played outside also and I also read some Dwarf Diaries. I don't know what you can do. I read the, the Diary of the Wimpy Kid and No Down. Joey, how many books have you read? 105. So, what do y'all think is important to read? I think it's important because um, you can learn new words. I think it's important because you can learn new facts. I think it's important because um, you can expand your imagination. <coughs> I think it's important because you can learn new words and get better at reading. I think it's important because you can expand your vocabulary and have a bigger imagination. I think it's important because you can expand your mind and learn new words per minute. I think it's important because you can get a better job in life. So what are y'all going to do on your next day off? What I'm going to do on my next day off, I'm going to try to read more books than I did yesterday. I'm going to try and read more books and probably go to my friend's house or if it's snowing already, go to snowman. I'm going to probably play with my brother and also try to read more books. I'm going to um, challenge myself by reading more books. I'm going to um, play with my brothers. I'm going to challenge myself and accomplish a, a goal to read. Uh, I want to read more books too.